What's going on, everybody? It's uh, just after 7. Just got home from the gym. Uh, a little bit of a wait session today, but uh, decided to move my schedule around to uh, get a lift in with my boy. My boy, John. Two days out. Two days out from a national qualifier. And he looks fucking insane. And I'm going to post a picture right now, right here. But first, gotta eat. Um, I actually meant to bring my camera in to record uh, our session, but uh, I well, I did bring the camera in, but I left my card in my computer. So sorry, guys. I didn't get uh, any video footage of our of our workout, but I did get some pictures, and I will uh, I'll post a couple of them. Uh, probably none of me because I'm a fat fuck right now and I look like shit. But uh, I will show you what John looks like. Um, show him some love. We have some comments, nice comments down below. Uh, wishing him luck, please. I would be great. Um, other than that, it's uh, it's game time. Let's go Rangers. Got my Rangers hat on. Ready for the game? Cooking up some chicken in the background. Got some rice over there. Just chilling, waiting on the game, waiting on my food. Give a little. Try to see if I don't look anywhere near as good as John does, but. No, it's for YouTube. It's a sad, sad day here in Rangerstown. Actually, what am I saying? I'm in live in Jersey. But it is a really sad day in Rangerstown. 1.3 seconds left in the third period and the Cubs fucking sneak one behind Lundquist. Damn! Don't worry. That's all you guys get. You guys only get one game. You wanted to take game one? Well, that's it. I'm sorry. Um... So my workout, yes, yesterday with uh, John went pretty damn well. Um, had a good time, man. He's looking really, really good. Uh, as you already know, because uh, I put a picture up already. But um, one day out, guys. He's one day out. Wow. I really wish I could go watch him compete, but I am, I am at the Y at uh, Healthy Kids Day. So uh, if you guys are close and you have kids and you guys want to have a good time, come stop by. I will be working the obstacle course. So let's let's go have a good time. The boot camp obstacle course. It's gonna be fun. Um, as far as today, I have um, well, yesterday I was supposed to do bench. Uh, well, my upper workout, my power upper workout. Um, but I'm gonna do that today. So I'm gonna hit my uh, my bench press, do some back, and then uh, if my arms aren't too shot, I'm gonna do those again. So uh, I'm gonna make some food now because I'm pretty freaking hungry. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So I'm just chilling here in my car, just pulled up to the Y. I got work later, so I'm gonna be training myself here today. I won't bring the camera in, can't bring the camera in, can't film here. Um, Guess I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the day. I know I didn't do too much filming, and there won't be any other filming as soon as I step out of the car. I will be training myself, like I said. And I'm gonna eat and clock in, and then I won't be out till about quarter to ten, probably. So that'll be it for today, and then tomorrow I am doing Healthy Kids Day. All right, guys. What's going on, everybody? Uh, I know it's been a while, and I uh, got tons and tons of uh, footage, or actually not even tons and tons, just um, a little bit of footage over the past 
a week or so, and um, uh, I'm not even really sure what days they kind of landed on, so that's why there's no uh, month and day over the clips before this one. So this specific workout was done on Monday. Monday, yes, this workout was done on Monday. And uh, just showing you what the way that I'm currently acclimating my way up to my working sets. And generally, they're, they're about the same because most of my lifts now for deadlifts are over um, like 315 pounds for the most part. So I'll usually warm up with uh, 135, then 225, and then about 275 or 295, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, I did 295 this day for, I believe, three and then 115 for one, and then uh, into my working sets, which will come out to, uh, well, it came out to 324, but no micro place yet, so made it 325. And uh, Will just came in, I love capturing the, uh, the clap, because I get that chalk action going in there. But uh, this turned out to be a deadlift day for both of us. Uh, Will actually, I think he had actually hit a PR. I'm not really too sure about that, but uh, let's keep uh, moving along. First set, 325, uh, new split 5x5. This is uh, 80%. So the way this new Split or strength program that I'm working off of right now uh, goes five by five with eighty percent, eighty percent, yes, and then I have a three by five with eighty five percent and a five by three with ninety. So uh, I bench press twice in one week. Um, and I squat once a week and deadlift once a week. So I'm getting a little more benching in, which is fine because that's something that really, really needs to come up if I do decide to do a powerlifting meet, which I, I really do want to do. So we will, um, we'll see. That's just something I'm going to have to have to work on. About that life. Yeah, I still don't know how you do that grip. Hook grip. I, I tried that. It just doesn't work. No? You're used uh, to it. I feel like I can kind of see it, but I just can't really get it. Maybe I'm just not used to it. It hurts when that's, you first do it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta start light. That even reading stuff like, online, like grips and all that, they say like hook grip is like pretty good. Yeah. To stay with double over, you know? So people like doing that. But they said like, yeah, it's okay. Thank <laughs> you. Initially, I yeah, it. I was using like, what was it, maybe 30 or 40 pounds less what I could do with straps until I just built my strength back up to what I could do with straps and then I, I threw the straps out after that. Yeah, straps I stay away from. Yeah. Because Especially if you want to compete. Yeah. You can't use straps. Yeah. Oh, and you can hold the bar any way you want. Yeah. Now, my armor works for me. Yeah, hey, that's what works, that's what works. I just stick with that. Yeah. Everybody has different leverages. Nobody's gonna look exactly the same. Stop with the heat. It's true. Everybody has different leverages, remember that. Okay, so we're back with uh, the deadlifts, and uh, I wasn't able to film every set. Uh, my camera battery was gonna die. And uh, that seems to be a recurring issue. I really suck at trying to keep my camera charged. But nevertheless, I got a couple sets filmed of myself and uh, some sets of Will. And um, another another success another successful day with the crew here in the gym. Pulling 325 here, and it looks it looks pretty solid. And to tell you the truth, it actually went up pretty well. The wow, this angle really showcases how short I really am. <laughs> but, um, fuck, what was I saying? Um, wow, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, 325 actually went up pretty well. It, it started to get tough around my fourth set. When I did my fourth set, I was like, wow, holy crap, I still have one more set. 
So yeah, oh. right around that means my one RM is is solid. Go, I come on. pulled uh, a four oh five for a single. I never got that on camera. Uh, I will be attempting another one RM once I'm done with everything. So uh, the first one you'll you'll obviously see is bench press because I'm gonna finish with that cycle first because I'm benching twice a week. Uh, so you will eventually see again once I'm done with the five by three with all of my lifts. You will see a a new one RM for each of my lifts. And then I will probably change up the way the split works again, probably based off of a competition style 1RM. And then all of my lifts thereafter will be all based off of a, a pause style and then repeat. And then I'll go back to a touch and go 1RM and then do all my lifts off based off of a touch and go. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for sticking around. As always, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Amazing content to come. Uh, like this video. Share this video. Tell everybody about the channel. Get everybody over here for a good time. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.